one, two, one, two, three. Did you guys catch it? If you didn't catch it, let's play it again. Still didn't catch it too bad but hi guys and welcome to the canadians channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can add this cool echo effect to the end of your video now this is something that is very simple to do but sometimes appears very complicated well but before we do that you know that most tutorials on youtube only show you how you can do this only for the end of the video but in today's video i'm going to show you how you can do it for even clips that are midway your video for example you could have somebody screaming like in this particular clip that we just played there was a scream in there and it was midway the video so i'm going to show you how you can do that so now let's head into premiere and i show you guys a step-by-step -step process on how you can add this cool echo effect to your video clips so let's play back this audio clip without any audio and sound effects applied just the music alone so i'm going to mute all sound effects just like that and we play it back with just the music That was boring. So now let's turn on the sound effects. Right. So now let's add what you guys came for, which is the echo effect. The technical term for this is really not echo effect. It's called a reverb. So what you want to do is head over to this little icon here, this arrow and click audio track mixer. Now, if you don't have the audio track mixer, you can come to window and then scroll down. You'll see audio track mixer. Just make sure you click there and then it will pop up. And under audio track mixer, you'll see all the audio tracks. By audio tracks, I mean here, when you look, you see you have A1, A2, A3, like that up to A7. Now we want to apply this echo effect to very specific clips in the timeline, right? And one of the clips we want to apply the echo effect is the audio track here, which is the music track. We want to add it to the scream here. This is the scream at the end, but there's also a scream midway here. This here too is also a scream. And then one more thing I want to do, I also want to add it to this track five here. I can either add it track five or track six, but I want to add it to track five because I have an empty space right there. So once you have your audio track mixer opened, there's a little drop down here on this side. Click there and then you'll have this whole different, you know, interface showing up. Don't be scared. It's something very simple here. So what you need to do is click on the arrow there on the drop down and then this allows you to add different effects to the audio track that we have. So in this case, I want to add the effect to track one. So make sure that A1 here is the track that you own. And then just scroll back up here click and then come to reverb studio reverb so once you have added that the other track we want to add to was track number four so i'll scroll to the right and just make sure that i'm on track number four so track number four is right here so i'll scroll up this is track number four click there and add reverb studio reverb the other track i want to add to is track number five which is this track here next to track number four reverb and lastly track number seven reverb studio reverb now this is not the end of the tutorial oh my god <coughs> what's happening to my voice something very strange happening to my voice guys all right so we are back we go back to track one just double click on the studio reverb there and then make sure you come under decay push the decay all the way to the max that should be good but if you don't get enough of the effect just come under output level under wet and push the weight to about 40. let's close that and then let's come to track number four let's do the same let's move the decay all the way up to 10,000 and then let's move the wetness to about 40 right there close that do the same for track 5 do that move the wet to somewhere around 40 close to 40 and then lastly track number 7 
do the same. Close that out. So right now, let's play this back for you guys to hear this. If you realize at the end that reverb didn't carry on so what's the problem here the thing is the way this echo effect or reverb effect works is there has to be a continuation of the footage like video footage on the track above which is the video track has to continue somewhat at least for a few seconds for this effect to carry on so the video doesn't have to be a the same length as the audio track below it so in this case you realize that my video track is here and i can't even increase it that's where it ends so how you solve that is to come under this new item icon and then you can either add an adjustment layer or you can add a black video layer so in this case i'll add a black video layer just click ok click drag and drop it right at the end of the video footage layer and then trim it down to a few seconds and then when you play back from the start hear that it carries on so what you want to do is you need to add a fade out on this track you simply just come to the end of this scream here and then right click apply default transition so when you do that and play back from the start this is what we have And there you have it, very fun effect to add. You realize that when you apply this effect to a track, it applies to each and every clip that is within that track. For example, I have a bunch of clips here in this, let's say track five. So that effect is applied to all the clips in this track layer. So what you need to do is to always have your music and dialogue and sound effects like separated on different tracks. So in this case, you can have your audio or your dialogue on track A1, then you can have your music on track A2, then you can have other things such as sound design and sound effects blah 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 on the subsequent tracks that follow after that and that way you have a very organized workflow so that's how you do it if you guys have any other ways of doing this let me know in the comment section but if you found the video very helpful kindly hit like share and subscribe to the channel of course lastly don't forget to say hi to your mom as always i tell you guys i love you and i'm out of here peace